Hey, welcome to Shotfield Music. I'm Napoleon. Today, I'm going to talk to you about my pedal board. I go through the Kemper amp. Uh, this is a digital amp profiler. It uh, it stores a many <laughs> rigs you can play. Uh, all different types of amps. You can profile real amps, put them in there, or and you can also get some online. The Kemper has built-in effects and to turn those on and off and to go through various rigs you use a, a, a MIDI pedal board. So I use the Behringer FCB 1010 uh, foot MIDI pedal board. Uh, it's very common to use with the Kemper especially before Kemper made their own remote. On top of that I also have my pedal board use a looper and a vocal pedal. Vocal pedal basically just EQs and uh, makes the vocal sit in the mix right where I'd like it. Other than that though, most of the effects that I use are built into the Kemper and I use the uh, pedal board to get those various sounds. On my pedal board I also have the uh, wireless guitar receiver which also has a built in tuner and I have my page turner. So I'll give you a picture of what that looks like now. So that is the Behringer foot pedal. Uh, I, I bought a actual chip you put into it and uh, turns it so that it's um, made just to use for the Kemper. And then that came with the uh, decals that you see on those pedals now. Uh, there's up and down arrows to switch between banks. There's five uh, switches on the bottom, which can go through five banks or five profiles. And then on the top, A, B, C, and X are different effects you can put on. You can assign. And then there's a tap tempo, a wah, and a volume pedal. And on the bottom row, there's the looper I use. Which is a stereo looper. However, I use it so that I can loop either my keyboard or my Kemper amp. And then on the far right is the vocal pedal. And in the middle is the page turner and my wireless guitar and tuner. Because my rig is uh, Go through the Kemper and then using a foot pedal. I didn't go with a traditional store bought pedal board. I, I've custom built my own just out of some wood. And I've done that many times. This last one is the one I'm using currently. Um, I'll show you this video we took when John was down here of the cable nightmare that was hooking all this up. So here we are, disassembling Napoleon's pedal board. What's up, YouTube? Yeah! Look at that cool hat, dude. This is where the real challenge comes in. Yeah? Trying to make sure you get everything moved over. You got a lot of cables over there, bro. A lot of cables. <laughs> That's a lot of cables. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think I better give him a hand, so I'm going to have to stop recording his butt here. So as you can see... There was quite a bit going on. I decided to simplify that. And to do that, instead of running stereo uh, for the keyboard and the Kemper amp, I am now running in mono. That allows me to put both of them into my looper and then send the looper to the mixer. So I can loop either the guitar or the piano. And it also reduces the number of cables I've got going back and forth. So we'll take a quick look here at what I've done. The foot pedal 
that is used for the Kemper. The UNO for Kemper uh, has two MIDI inputs, or a in MIDI input and a MIDI output. That has not changed. What has changed is the number of cables that I use to connect to everything on the pedal board. And all of them come off of the one side of the board here. As you can see, they are all labeled. And they're all roughly about the same length. So going that route, um, with the number of cables now going to the pedal board and having it being labeled, allows me to quickly disconnect and reconnect at various places if I'm gigging somewhere or moving to a different part of the house. So I'm going to connect those. So the only thing left I think for my pedal board to be all set, I may want to eventually put some handles on it so it's easier to carry, um, but is to velcro some of the pedals down to the wood so that they don't slip or move. So I've gotten some velcro which I just got at the local hardware store and I looked online at other people putting velcro on their pedal boards and they said to use a hair dryer to warm up the uh, adhesive on the velcro it makes it stick better apparently so we're going to try that okay so to do this I've got a hair dryer velcro and some scissors. So I don't think I want to velcro down my page turner quite yet. A lot of times I move that like if I'm not right next to my keyboard or if I'm in a different place I like to have this able to be moved. So I'm not going to velcro that down but there are other ones I will. So. Okay, the Velcro came in these little strips. There's two different sides, the, I don't know, the, the loop and the latch. You just peel them off and put a couple pieces right on there. Now, I had this stuck on the pedal board in the past, so I'm hoping to just have to use half of this. We will see. Peel it. And you want your air dryer to be on hot. And warm this up a little bit. adhesive really warm so it'll stick. Okay. Put another piece on there. down and that pedal is not going to go anywhere. I'm going to do the same thing for my guitar uh, pedal and then we'll do it for the looper. Now for the looper.
Okay. So those are all connected on there. This pedal board does have some rubber feet on it, so it doesn't sit quite as nicely as the other pedal boards. I want the pedal board to lay as flat as it possibly can, so with a utility knife I'm going to cut these little rubber feet off. That way it'll lay flatter, and then I can use the Velcro to let it stick right to my pedal board. While cutting them with the knife, I discovered that they actually just peel right off. So I'm going to take the whole entire thing off now. Okay, now what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to attach the other half right to this and then heat all four up, flip it around and sit it on. That way I know they match up perfectly. Set it on the pedal board as so. Now, when we lift this and carry it anywhere, the pedal boards aren't going to move. Alright, well thanks guys. That was just a real quick uh, explanation on how to put Velcro on your pedal board and kind of showing you the pedal board I've got set up with the uh, new wiring so it's not quite as uh, confusing for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like and don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, bell it yo, and uh, we'll be sure to get you with some more videos soon. All right, cheers guys. Hey, it's Napoleon here. Thanks for checking out Shot Field Music. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, here's a couple more for you. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment with what you think, and we'll get back with you. And as John always says, Belly, yo! Alright guys, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.